Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man MTG here today, and today we're going to be playing my version of Grixis Delver. Um, post bannings of the post banning of Gitaxian probe. So I replaced the three Gitaxian probes in the deck, and I've uh, added an additional collective brutality to the main deck. One more land and swamp. I also added an additional mana leak. So, um, some people were also talking about cutting Young Pyromancers, uh, but I think this card is too good. Yes, you can't Young Pyromancer with Cataxian Probe, so you're probably going to be a lot more aggressive with it. Um, but other than that, that's all I have really to mention. Oh, I took the Collective Brutality out of the side deck and put it in the main deck and replaced it with a Dispel, I think, is what I replaced it with. And let's go ahead and jump into a game and see how it works. As always, guys, let me know down below how your day is, how your day is doing. Um, I always like to hear how my watchers are doing. Um, also, let me know down below what guy, what video, what deck. Sorry about that. What deck you guys like me see me play the most? Um, I'll get that deck up some more for you guys. Uh, currently, I have 15 decks in the rotation. Um, so what the rotation is to me is I have a list of decks I go through. I make a video for each uh, video playing for each of you guys. Um, So we have five lands. That's probably not a keep. This hand looks better. Um, do I want a Thought Scour? Not in particular. I'll play Bloodstain Mire. Draw an Electrolyze. So here we're going to play our Bloodstain Mire. Crack it. I'll grab a. Sacred Foundry? Not a Sacred Foundry, a Steam. Sorry about that. Um, pay to life and cast Serum Visions. Draw the Thought Scour I put to the bottom. Reveal land, land. Um, put Watery Grave on bottom, Sulfur Falls on top. Good pass turn. When it cracks their Bloodstained Mire, gets a Stomping Ground tapped. When it plays and cracks a Wooded Foothills, gets a Mountain, gets a Bushwhacker. Okay, okay. I just got bushwhacked for two. Interesting. Take two, fall to 15. Go ahead and turn the volume down a little bit. I apologize. Draw the sulfur falls that I left on top. Um. So... Um, so what I'm debating here is, I need to have Bolt up, but I want to crack my fetch land before I play my Serum Visions. I don't want to take two. I think I'm just going to have to get over it. Um, we're going to grab Watery Grave untapped. And cast Serum Visions off of it. Draw a light, another Lightning Bolt, which is good. Put both of the lands on bottom. Go ahead and pass turn. Put in place Copper Line Gorge. Cast Burning Tree Emissary. Okay. Interesting. Cast another Bushwhacker. Well, I think I'm going to bolt their Emissary. Take four here and fall to eight.
Draw a Gurmag Angler, which will be good later. Uh, I'm going to keep my three mana up and just pass turn. So I have an option. I could Snapcaster a Bolt, or I could play an Electrolyze. I think I'm just going to Electrolyze here. It's more value. Um, one there, one there. And I get more card advantage out of it. Draw a Mana Leak. I'm going to cast Foundry Street Denizen. So are they playing like a version of 12 whack or 8 whack? 12 whack. That'd be sick. And 12 wax. Okay, so we have double mana leak bolt. I think we're just going to pass turn here. Mana leak up. I'm going to play the Mog War Marshal. I'm going to counter that. So I don't think I'm going to have any better chances to play a mana leak. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and bolt the Foundry Street Denizen as well. Might as well save, save myself a point of damage. Um, play the Spire Bluff Canal and pass turn. Still holding back on the Gurmag Angler here, uh, just because I think I need more cards to be able to cast a Snapcaster. I Boscour myself. No, two Collective Brut Brutalities, draw a Young Pyromancer. I think I'm actually more excited to cast a Young Pyromancer here. So a lot of people were talking about how you just need to take Young Pyromancer out of the deck. Um, since it's not good with uh, without probes. But I don't think that is the case uh, just because um, you're just more of a control deck now than you were before. And um, you need to hit your land drops more often. Opponents are going to bolt the PZ. Fine. And you can just get value out of Young Pyromancer, right? So it's like playing Monastery Mentor. You just use it as a value creature. Um, Weak Bushwhacker? Draw Polluted Delta, play Polluted Delta, sacrifice Polluted Delta. Grab Swamp, probably cast a Gurmag Angler here, moving Polluted Delta. Um, Serum Vision, Serum Visions. Bloodstained Mire, Bloodstained Mire. And a mana leak. Pass the turn here. I'm going to place Foundry Street in That's fine. Plays a mountain. Draw another murderous cut, which I'm okay with. Attack with Gurmag Angler. Opponent falls to 13, pass turn. Opponent draws another mountain, unfortunate for the opponent. I think I'm just going to hard cast a murderous cut. Five mana removal spell, no big deal. No big deal. And opponent scoops it up. We're going to go ahead and jump into game two here. Um, so here, I like Dark Blast. I like Grim Lava Mancer. I like the Magma Spray. I like Dreadbore. I like Terminate. I like Cryptic Incursion even. And I like Anger of the Gods. Um, so if you're curious about why I bring in Cryptic Incursion and why it's in the sideboard, um, it's just a good hate card against um, Dredge. I can just remove all their creatures from the graveyard and gain three life for each card removed, each creature removed this way. And it's good against like the burn decks if you're dread if you're targeting yourself like your uh, Thought Scours and whatnot, you can Crypt Incursion yourself and just gain some life off of that. 
Um, so since I'm bringing in so many graveyard effects, just like uh, Grim Lava Mancer and Crypt, probably want to take out a Gurmag Angler. Uh, not interested really in Spell Snares or Mana Leaks. I'd rather answer their creatures once they're in play. Now we'll also cut like a Delver. And uh, we could try like this. His hand seems very medium, so I'm going to Mulligan. Um, his hand's not a whole lot better. I got lands and I can cast spells, so yeah, I'll keep it. Um, Thought Scour, I'm not that interested in drawing. Really need to draw some removal spells here. Opponent plays a Legion Loyalist. I'll draw another Tassigur, unfortunately. Crack the Pluto Delta, I'm going to grab a Steam Vents. Play Serum Visions. Next turn with the intent of casting Collective Brutality. I'm one of my opponent's creatures. Draw Bloodstained Mire, put Bolt on top, Bloodstained Mire on the bottom. Last turn. Hmm. I'm interested to see why my opponent's splashing green in this deck. Is there a green card I'm thinking out or not thinking about? It just doesn't seem that great. I mean, you can burning tree and stray into a reckless bushwhacker. But as I said, that card just doesn't seem worth it to be playing like green. Maybe he's playing 10 Street Hoogan in the sideboard, that, as I mentioned in my 8 Wag video. So here, um, probably just pass and see what my opponent does. Um, this way, so I can grab a, uh, a shock land tapped with the bloodstain mire. So I think I'm just gonna bolt the burning tree emissary, just because um, I don't see myself doing much blocking in the future. So these effects really don't matter, and if they start to matter, I can just pick them off. I'm going to cast a Mog War Marshal, that's fine. I don't really care about a Mog War Marshal. It's annoying, not backbreaking by any means. Here I'm going to Bloodstain Mire. Um, it's either a Blood Crypt or a Watery Grave. And I think having Watery Graves better. Maybe Blood Crypt were better. Draw another land. Um, so what I'm debating here is collective brutality, uh, brutality, casting, casting cat, collective brutality, looking at the opponent's hand, killing a legion loyalist, and dealing two damage to the opponent, and then tassigering as well. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to discard the polluted Delta. Uh, I guess my question is, do I kill the Goblin or the Legion Loyalist? I'll kill the Legion Loyalist. Discard Tassiger and polluted Delta. Take the Dismember. Oh my God. A bushwhacker in their hand, unfortunately. Play Swamp, cast Tassiger. Remove Tassiger, Serum Visions, land, land, land. Keep up Lightning Bolt and Collective Brutality for my Snapcaster. Go ahead and pass turn. I'm gonna be taking a bit of damage here if my opponent plays their Goblin Bushwhacker. Which they do. That's fine. I'm blocking their Legion Loyalist. They can have first strike. I'll take six, go to seven. And Pyromancer is not great here. 
Um, I don't have enough lands. So I think I'm just going to snap in the bolt. And do some blocking. I want to draw another bushwhacker. Sure. Why not? Let my opponent declare attacks first. So we're really trying to dodge is like a goblin grenade. Um, I think that's the only card that can really get me right here. Tasker blocks the Bushwhacker. Snapcast will block a token. Fall to five. I'm going to pass his turn. So we're going to play Young Pyromancer. Cast Serum Visions. Draw another Serum Visions. Um, Snapcaster. Sulfur Falls. Um, I want them both, but I'm trying to decide which one I want more first. I don't think it actually matters, so I'll just put Snap on top and then Sulfur Falls on top. And I think... Uh, I'll wait a turn before I can start attacking just for the fact... So I can get some more advantage out of the Pyromancer and get more effective blocks out. So what I'm probably going to do is um, save the Snapcaster so I can collect a Brutality and then use it as like a Vampire's Kiss. So Zam Vampire's Kiss is an old card that's like black, black, or certain thirst. May have, what been, may have been what I'm thinking of. Deal two damage turn creature or player and you gain two life. But there's only players, so I think it's Vampire's Kiss. I'm not 100% sure. So draw the Sulfur Falls. We'll play the Serum Visions. Get another Elemental. Draw the Snap. Terminates good. Put the Bloodstained Mire on the bottom. Play Sulfur Falls. And attack with the Tassigur here. Now, at worst, I have an Ambush Viper in the form of a Snapcaster Mage if I need it. See, this is the point of game you want to get the 8 whack decks too, is because I don't think they can win the game if I mess this. I may be wrong because it might have two bolts in their hand. And they had the Goblin Grenade anyways. Well, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, Yeah, once again, as I was saying, it's uh, hard to lose to the 8 whack decks at this point this late in the game, but I was wrong. Um, Yeah. So, that happened. Um... Go ahead and just uh, try it back like this. And see how this goes. Maybe I should be fetching um, a more life conscious with my fetch lands. I would like to play first. Just never get a good hand. Like the th angle of the gods is great. And that's just really about it. I'd have to draw two lands in a row. Turn one of the thought scours into a land. Uh, I have a murderous cut too. Oh, this is a hard choice. I'm gonna mulligan. Oh yeah, this hands way better. I would like to keep a lightning bolt, even though it doesn't matter. Well, I can just not cast my Delver secrets. Does Delver matter that much? Gets picked up by the anger of the gods. Um, I don't think it matters. 
the lightning bolt right now. That is, so we're gonna grab steam vents untapped, way dollar, past turn. I mean, Delver's kind of like a lightning bolt because I'm probably just going to block anything they play. Delver trigger. Reveals lightning bolt anyways. Well, guys, we get lucky every once in a while. I would like to reveal lightning bolt. Click loot of Delta. Go to combat. Attack with the Delver secrets or the insect isle aberration. Funnel falls to 17. Pass turn. Maybe I should have brought in the, the mana leaks and leaks I'm on the draw. Something to always consider with this deck. I think I could go ahead and fire off a bolt on a Memnite just because I have like an anger and a collective brutality. I'm gonna place Mog War Marshal, that's fine. Crack the Pluto Delta. Got to get a Blood Crypt here, uh, just so I know I have double red. Draw a Serum Visions. Uh, should I be Collective Brutality here? Killing one of his creatures. Kill one of the opponent's creatures. Kill like a Goblin or something. Or should I try to like, Serum Visions for a land? I think the Serum Visioning is more important here. And then leave Delver to block if I don't find a land, which I did not. Um, uh, Murderous Cut's fine just because I have the um, Thought Scour in hand. I can delve everything but the Lightning Bolt. Seems alright. Doesn't seem great. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. It's about the best I can do right now, really. Leave Delver as a blocker. Pass turn. Mark War Marshal trigger. Opponent gets another 1 1 Goblin token. Opponent goes to combat. I will be blocking with this Insect Isle Aberration. I am not afraid to do that. I don't play as Burning Tree Emissary, that's fine. Plays a Mog War Marshal. This would be the point where I really would have uh, liked to put the um, Murderous Heart on the bottom and just hope to draw a land for this Anger of the Gods. Because I think we're dead next turn, so. Well, maybe not dead, but definitely hurt. So we're going to Thought Scour in main phase in case you draw a land. Which I did do in the form of Watery Grave. Grim Lava Mancer and Dread Boar. I just put the Watery Grave tapped here in fast turn. See what the opponent does. See, but the problem with doing what I'm doing is that it gives my pan, uh, opponent a chance to draw code cards. Which is unfortunate for us. My opponent does not have a bushwhacker. Okay. So I just block and then anger? I think so. I think that's probably the right play. I don't know a world that I live in that that's not a right play. Well, I guess the consideration here is if my opponent has bolt and a grenade. So that's 8 damage, and I'm taking 4, I go to 11, I fall to 3, and I die to another bolt. I'll take the chances on my opponent having all of that, I guess. I'm going to play the anger next turn. My opponent just doesn't play anything. Which leads me to believe they have bolt. I'm okay with, I think. Draw the Thought Scour, that's not great. We'll go ahead and cast our Anger here. Pass 
past turn. So here's where that Crypt Incursion would be really good because I'd be gaining a 3, 6, 9, 12 life for 3 mana. Plays War Marshal, it's fine. Through another Snapcaster. What I'm considering here is playing Collector Brutality, killing their Goblin, and seeing what that last card in my opponent's hand is. Keeping up the Murderous Cut. I think Murderous Cut and yeah, just Murderous Cut. I'm gonna be discarding Thought Scour. So that and then that. Cast. Let me see your hand. Kill your Goblin. Keep up Murderous Cut. Uh, discard Thought Scour. Opponent has the Lightning Bolt. Autumn's Veil. That why they're playing green? It's for Autumn's Veil. Spells you control can't be countered, but sure. Fine. So he just fizzles my collective brutality. I just isn't there better cards than that? Like Vexing Shasher? Huh, interesting. So let's see what the opponent does here if they pay their echo for the Mob of War Marshal or not. And they do. Okay. Interesting. Opponent goes to combat, so I'm just gonna murderous cut the war marshal here. Pay black. Um, exile serum visions. Delver. Thought scour, thought scour. Take one, go to ten. Next turn, have Snap Bolt up. Or I could play a young Pyromancer, which I think actually will win me the game if I can do things with it. If I can get an extra, another one more turn. But it cracks their, pollute, their Bloodstained Mire. It's fine. It's stomping around tapped. What did the opponent draw is the question. So what the opponent can assume here is that they're never getting in with their creature again if they don't kill the Pyromancer. I fall to eight because I'm not going to block with the Pyromancer. I know that puts me in lethal to uh, grenade and bolt. But I'd put opponent drew foothills, okay. Okay, that's good for us. We're gonna attack with the Pyromancer. I'm falls to 14. Cast. Opponent probably gets in with their goblins here. We're gonna cast a Snapcaster. With the intention to bolt a goblin. Opponent's casting a dismember on my pyromancer. That's fine. Okay. I'm a little less excited now about this lightning bolt. Opponent cracks their wooded foothills in response to my snapcaster trigger. It's a mountain. Bolt one of the tokens. Block the goblin. So I guess the difference between this uh, eight whack deck and mine's mine is more um, goblin oriented, I guess, and my opponent's is not. So here I think I have to play Tassiger just because I can't really Snapcast or anything. It's important right now. Polluted Delta, Polluted Delta, um, Collective Brutality, Snapcaster. Um, Lava Mancer or the Anger? It's actually probably just because I have one in my hand. Just pass the turn. See what the opponent does. Opponent drew another Bloodstained Mire. Very unfortunate for the opponent, but 
Uh, something to note is we haven't drew very many lands either. As I say that I draw one, okay, I'm okay with that. But cracks or bloodstained mire. I don't know if I would have done that if I was the opponent just because um, it puts them out a two turn clock now, opposed to a three turn clock. Past the turn with Snapcaster up, oh, no instance of graveyard. Murderous um, Cut and Tassiger, I guess. It doesn't really matter what my opponent does here, yeah. I went ahead and scooped it up here because they were at four. Um, once again, guys, I noticed that as I was recording this video, um, if, there, if you hear background noises, I apologize. I can't really control that. I'm recording in my dorm room. Can't really go out in the hallway and tell them to shut up. Uh, but once again, guys, remember to leave a like and comment down below if you guys would have changed any certain plays, um, if you guys would add certain things to the deck, or if you guys just didn't want to enjoy my videos. Just let me know down below. Let me know down below if you enjoy them. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.